Now the next one I want to look at is the equals one. Gets a bit easier from here on. So if I have a circle there, and one there, and one there, and I want to make them equal, equal command, that one, and that one, and they're both equal. You notice it took the first one there, so let's do a control Z and go back. Go back into equal, I'll pick that one, and that one, and now they've both taken that one. So the equals command, for example, makes them equal to the first one you choose. Let me just go back again to have a, 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 let me just add another one in there. So we've got four there. Now what we can do is do the equal sign, highlight them all, and they'll all go to the one of them. So that's an easy way of getting equals. It's the same with two lines as well. You could have a line there, whoops, and you could have a line over here. And then with the equals command, equal and equal. So that was chosen first. Therefore, this one extends to that one. It doesn't alter their position or, or, or their interactivity in any other way. It just makes them equal. So, whoops. I can still move that line independently. If I go on that one and make it longer, the other one changes as well. And I can change the angle of this when it doesn't matter. Or the only effect it has, the only common factor between them is they're both of equal length. And you change one and the other one will change in length only. Other than that, you can move them around. And that's where the, that's the equals command.